Hello, <laughs> my name is Jean and I am a knitter. I'm also a sewer and a quilter and a weaver and a spinner and a lace maker and blah, 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 blah. But mostly I'm talking about knitting here. I just got a brand new sewing machine. I haven't had a lot of time to knit. I did get to what I wanted to learn about shorty circular knitting needles. Um, I made a little bit of progress on this and it was thinking progress, not just, I wanna finish this shawl. And I realized that if you are comfortable working with double pointed knitting needles, you have absolutely no need whatsoever to get shorty circulars. Just saying. I started, one of my first significant projects was a pair of Scandinavian patterned two color mittens on four, four, because they weren't, in America we only had four double pointeds. And, um, it was the mid seventies. Uh, my mother did have one or two sets of circular needles that were tiny, which I thought were just the coolest things because they were all metal, steel cables, uncoated steel cables, braided steel cables. I think I have one in my knitting bag. Um, but you use double pointed needles or you didn't knit in the round. And I didn't really have any problem with it. I sat down on the kitchen stool, I remember this, and knit a sample piece in the round, trying different consistent needle placements and tugs on the yarn as I changed from needle to needle and figured out how to not have ladders in my knitting. You just have to sit down and say, I'm always going to try it. I'm always going to change needles with this needle on top and bring the new needle in from here and pull this much. And then you knit a few rounds and you examine it. And then you say, no, that's not working. Well, now I'm going to change with this needle on top, put this needle in from that same sort of direction, pull the same tug and change to the next needle. And then you examine it. And what do you know? At some point, you will figure out a way that you will change from needle to needle and not get ladders. You do have to pull that stitch astoundingly tight. But once you've got it, you've got it. Now, I have many, many sets of double pointed needles. I have sets of double pointed needles that can do the sleeve of a man's sweater big honking, 10 inch long. You don't really need much more than 10, thank you very much, because 30 inches around, well, you could put it on a circular. And I have eight inches, and that's the one I have the most of, I think. And I have six inch long double pointed needles. Those are the chalgus and those are sets of five and there's plenty of space to knit something on those. But I've also, and I look through my stash, I've also got um, delicate lace needles. And I have, those are size six, those are huge. I have quad zero knitting needles, but I only have two because that was the way they sold them. You were doing uh, usually miniatures for doll houses. But I have a set of triple zeros and I have a set of one millimeter quad five quint zeros. Very carefully kept in a secure container, which I don't open frequently, as you can probably tell. But 
I will show you these one millimeter needles because they're pretty cool. And ah, if you can even see them, let's see. One millimeter coming at you. Now you can see also there's a color change. The tip of the needle, that's not a shadow, that's actually the tip of the needle, um, has been uh, machined slightly differently than the body of the needle. If I were to start using this to knit with, one of the things that I would do is uh, the same thing I did with my lace blocking wires, I would take a damp microfiber cloth and wipe it down multiple times to make sure there was no weird discoloration. With these five zero knitting needles, I could probably knit with sewing thread and create a little pillow top or something with um, that would be appropriate for a 12 to one, no, a 12 to one scale dollhouse. Do I do dollhouses? No. But puppy's gonna be annoying. That's okay. The important thing today was my take on shorty circular knitting needles in any size or any length. If you only use circulars and you really can't figure out double pointeds, yes, get them. But if you are comfortable with magic loop, you don't need them. And if you're comfortable with double pointeds, you don't need shorties. So, save your money, go buy more yarn, <laughs> and keep knitting. Oh, come on. <laughs>